You look like Saturday mornings. You feel like finding some money that's stuffed inside of my pocket that I put there and forgot it. How did I get that name? <laughs> the 70s, like, my name, my name is Trayvon. And I was either gonna go with that or Trey, but Trey was kinda lame, but like, like, there's other rappers with that name and singers, like, so I was just gonna go with Trayvon. And then I like scratched that, needed something more marketable. I needed something that meant more to me. And then like 1970s, the year my parents were born, both of them, and then 1998, the year my sister was born. So then I just took the 70 or 98 and I put it together. I was like, damn, that'd be tough. The east side. The east side, so like uh, Roosevelt, Lafayette, 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 Yeah, I, I grew up like right by the at and Center. Um, then I moved like off of Rigsby, like um, Dale Chris, and then now Lakeside. Stopping your glow, but I just want to be another. Um, seriously, like two years, two, three, maybe. But like, I've been writing my whole life poetry, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Did it start as like a slam poetry, or was it just like, oh, I want to write? Whatever I was thinking about. I just write that shit down and make it rhyme. So I didn't really, I didn't know that it was technically like poetry, but then I started to learn about poetry and I like made it, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know I'm here for you. It depends, but most of the time, um, if I'm at home, I don't write. If I'm recording at home, I don't write. But um, if it's more, if I want it more like personal and stuff like that, I write at home, but I only write like in the car or in the restroom, it's weird. So two spaces only. Yeah. <laughs> only right like in my car or right in the restroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I started music and stuff like that, I didn't start listening to rap music to probably like sixth or seventh grade. So when I started writing and stuff, I didn't have an actual influence because I wasn't listening to them. You know what I mean? I, I started like sing like writing like singing songs. So then when the rapping stuff started, I didn't listen. I didn't have nobody that I tried to make myself after. But from a um, business standpoint, um, Drake, Jay-Z, um, Rick Ross, their marketing is something that I would, I would follow that. You know what I'm saying? I'll follow their, their blueprint with that. But as far as like a musical influence, I would say probably still Drake, um, you know, Frank Ocean. Uh, Ironically enough, R&B artists make me want to write more than rappers do because the stuff that they talk about in their music is more real to me, you know what I'm saying, than yeah. the rappers. Not saying rappers aren't real, but you yeah, know Yeah, it's I mean. just like, that's how you relate to it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, because they're talking about things that I go through yeah. rather than rappers. I mean, when you're nine, a Bentley and stuff like that, I ain't never been in one of those, so I can't relate to that situation, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing this all because of you. I've been around music my whole life. My dad actually had a um, he had a record label when I was a kid. That's why I, I we left here when I was like a baby. We were in Houston. I didn't move back here until I was like seven. But we were in Houston. My dad's had a record label that started here in Kirby. Then he moved it to Houston. So we were out there, and um, I mean, I was in the studio with him more than like than I was at home or like anything like that. So I wasn't recording or nothing, but I was just around You're that surprised. environment. Yeah, my mom sings at like, to me, like damn near an elite level. You know what I'm saying? She sung in the choir. I was put in the choir when I was a kid, once we moved back here, you know what I mean? And um, I mean, I was around like big artists like Bum B, Pimp C and stuff like that when I was in Houston. I need to be in the studio to knock out at least two or three of those. Preferably like two, you know what I'm saying? Not just so I don't get that. Cause a lot of times when I record a lot of them, I don't use some of them. But um, I need to I need to shoot early in that week to have it ready for the next week, and then every week is like that. Plus I work, and then um, I write as much as I can. I write, and I mean that's pretty much it. But it it's surprising to me how quick my days go by. Like you know what I mean? But I'd rather be busy than doing nothing. Yeah. From a business standpoint, you can stay original, but like. I was told recently by my mom actually, cause um, once you really get in depth with the business and start to understand it more, you start to realize like there's things like this is an actual job. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to look at it that way because I love music, but once you really are involved in it, it's like damn, like I'm actually in like a corporate thing. Like 
they have corporate meetings for music. You know what I'm saying? And once you're an artist, you sign to a label, you're an employee. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you have a lot more leverage sometimes, but a lot of times you don't. But I realized that from the music standpoint, it's not hard to stay original for me. Cause my mom, like, fortunately enough for me, she always let me be myself as a kid. Like, if I like something, she let me do it. So with the music, it just, it transferred there well. Everybody on the same thing. It depends on the song, like of the Whatever Wednesday. With, the, with those, like with actual music videos, it's not that same. It's not the same uh, process for me. You know what I'm saying? I wanna, I actually do wanna sit down, write stuff out. Even with lyrics, like what should be right here? If it's something that's important, we need to highlight this. We need to do that. And with the Whatever Wednesday, sometimes it's that way, but a lot of times those songs are super simple. Like some of them are like a minute. And we can have a lot going on in that minute that is just random, or we can plot it out. It depends on the song, how important I think the lyrics on in this song. Nobody knows how I'm feeling these days. Yeah. I've definitely been listening to that, my playlist that I put out. And I always said when I started, like I needed to put out something that I can like more than anything. Like Drake, who's like I said, was one of my biggest influences during the views time. I watched his, um, he did it, he does an interview, but he did like an hour long interview with um, Apple Music. I forgot the dude's name. They interviewed him, but anyways, he was saying that um, the songs on the album were constantly changing. What he does is when he finishes a song, he rides with it in his car. And if he can't ride with it in his car, that song needs to come off the album. Because that's the music that he feels. And I was like, damn, like saying, you know what I'm saying? So once that project was done, I haven't, been li I haven't listened to anybody else. This is the first week I've listened to anybody else in like a month and a half, just because I was so zoned in on that. I'm 798 and just make sure you stay plugged in.